Hello students. Today we are going to do an intruding, intruding, engrossing and riveting topic. Yes, you are right. We are going to do vocabulary. So you all know that vocabulary occupies a very, very important place. It is of paramount importance in any written verbal exam. Maybe whether it is CAT or GMAT or AMCAT or no any all competitive exams that engineering students are eligible to write. And vocabulary is the most challenging part of a written exam also. And generally vocabulary is asked in the form of synonyms, antonyms and sometimes even in reading comprehension where you are required to find out the meaning of a particular word used in the reading comprehension. So, this intriguing topic is going to be discussed today and we will be working on some very important words and some tips and tricks as how to learn and remember the vocabulary. So, before we get into uh, actually studying about vocabulary, words and all that, let us first understand you know, why you know actually a little bit of history of the English language as such. English language which we all know was born from Great Britain passed to various phases before the English, before it became the English that we know today. So, it had different influences. First, it was the Roman influence when the Romans invaded Britain. Then there was uh, the Latin influence and then we had the French influence, Danish influence, Spanish influence. Even we have certain Indian English words into English language actually because we also have Indian English in Indian English also. Okay, so when the Romans came, English was just before the Romans came, English was something very close, it was very close to the German, Germanic uh, language with lot of inflections and joinings, you know, it was very different. No modern person can understand the old English. Then with the Roman conquest, there was Greek and Latin words. So, when we observe, when we try to examine certain words, we find that they have their origin from Greek and Latin, root words, affixes and all that, which we will be discussing in the later part. And there were, you no know, this Latin words, especially when it comes to, you know, uh, religious terms and all that, because Christianity influence was there and it brought in a host of Latin words. And with the Norman conquest, we had a lot of French vocabulary words coming into uh, vogue and coming into practice. For example, if you see, if you think of restaurant, so just see the spelling and let's see you know how it is pronounced. Restaurant, garage, yes, croissant. So these are all the French words. Uh, and uh, so once if you we try to understand these, it's very easy to remember and also pronounce it. Uh, words such as psyche, ego, alter, ambi, all these have its origin from Greek and Latin, right? So English origin had Roman influence from where you have the Greek words, Christianity, the religious influence where have you, you have the Latin words and Norman. Uh, or the French conquest where you have a lot of French words. So, now let us observe a few Greek and Latin root words, prefixes and suffixes to see how words, you know, uh, to find out to easily understand the meanings behind certain uh, boisterous words. You, sometimes we are so scared seeing a huge word, a long word and we really do not know the meaning, but it is very easy to find out the meaning if you know uh, the meanings behind those, you know, the Latin origins. Okay, so let us observe a few. The word psyche, psyche is, means mind. So, we get these words psychiatrist, psychology and psychoanalysis. So, psychiatrist is somebody who treats the disease of the mind. Psychology is the study of the mind and psychoanalysis, you know, how the mind thinks, you analyze the whole thing. Ego means I. So, this is also Greek origin. Egoistical, somebody who is, you know, who is more considered about the I. 
he is more you know considered about him so egoist is also that kind of a person who puts himself first before thinking about the others and alter ego so it is also you know related to ego you no know, graph graph means writing so autograph auto is by oneself so when you write you no know, you are by yourself it's autograph biograph bio is life so once you know life writing monograph photo or a picture uh, which has which is just in black and white mono is single epigraph epigraph you must know that it is you no know, the wordings written in one's tomb graphic so graphic details graph here means see he presented uh, he described the scene in graphic details means in very clear pictures details then logic logic is study logic means just study so neurology is the study of the nerves geology study of you know geography the land the earth biology study of life archaeology so study of something you know that's old sociology socio society mal mal means bad so malevolent so malevolent is somebody you know who thinks you no know, who has this bad intentions malefactor yes uh, the reason for something bad happening malediction diction means saying saying something bad malediction so the opposite is ben ben means good so benefactor uh no something uh, the reason behind something good benevolent uh, benevolent is a very good action no something doing something good for the others benediction benediction is also no saying something good benign benign is cool calm good benefit so for the good of the others phil phil is also of greek origin and it means love So philandro is a womanizer very important you would have seen in your cat preparation or you no know, vocabulary list you would have seen philandro philosopher philosopher is a lover of wisdom so philanthropist anthro is human phil is love so philanthropist a person you no know, who loves human beings and who wants to do something good for them so philologist is uh, a person who loves to learn about words philodendron so dendron here means leaves and no, flowers a, a person who likes to know about leaves and flowers ho hemophilic hemo hemoglobin you know hemophilic is you no know, somebody who uh, you know who loves blood philip is a person who who is a lover of horses yes now let's move on to the next list of the greek and latin roots affixes right so let's see uni so uni by try so these are all numbers so uni is one uniform yes so it's all same uni means single same so uniform unicorn is a single horn and horned animal uni cycle is no that which has one big wheel a cycle which has just one big wheel mono mono is single monograph so we have heard of monograph elsewhere in the lecture monograph is no a single uh, picture no having no following only one sh shades of only one color then monochrome single color chrome is color monochromatic so something that is related to one color mono action you must be knowing no a one person doing the action then ambi ambi is both ambi dextrous so no so who is comfortable with both hands uh, ambi dextrous person can write comfortably with his left hand and also with his right hand then ambivalent ambivalent is you know something that uh, attracts and repels both things happen ambi what ambi what is a person who is both sometimes he is an extrovert sometimes he is an introvert so you know what an extrovert person is an extrovert uh, you know who an extrovert person is 
extrovert person is a person you know, who is very comfortable with others uh, an introvert person who is very comfortable when he is alone so ambivert is sometimes an extrovert sometimes an introvert then ambiparous ambiparous is you no know, both uh, you no know, leaves and you no know, fruits ambilateral ambilateral is you no know, both sides next word is bi bi is two ambi is both bi is two so bipolar so two polars bi weekly you can say that this magazine is bi weekly that is twice a week and bi monthly is once in two months fortnightly is twice in one month fortnightly is once in 15 days yes so there's generally people get confused with bi monthly and fortnightly bi monthly is once in two months and fortnightly is once in 15 days that is twice in a month binocular no two lenses bisect you divide it into two parts bi vs is no having two ways two paths now hydra hydra or hydra means water so i you know why you get this word hydro electricity yes so it is the electricity that is drawn from water so hydroelectricity hydraulic is something that operates you no know, through water the machine that operates with water hydrogen h2o you know uh, which has you no know, water hydrocarbons then dehydration so during the summer when you become weak uh, because of excessive heat you no know, you get dehydrated that is you lose the water in your body aqua aqua is also means water and let's see aqua culture so you know that our district is very famous for aqua culture aqueous aqueous is a kind of no a watery solution aquarium you have, people have aquariums uh, in their houses where they have fish aqua aerobics aqua aerobics is no you do aerobics in water aquifer is a kind of a you know a stone a rock which allows which absorbs water and allows water to seep through it aquanaut is a person you no know, who has who wears all the equipment and who you no know, deep de uh, dives deep into the sea aqueduct aqueduct is a kind of a pipe or you no know, a channel which allows water to pass through it ast ast means star it's a greek origin so that's why you know astronaut a person you no know, who goes moves in the space astronaut astrology yes study of stars astronomy yes so you go and find out about you no know, the space astrophotography so it is you no know, taking photos in the space stella is latin root for star so you have that is if uh, the performance is very good or something you just say that was a stellar performance so uh, it is equal to no how we say star yes stellar energy energy from the star stellarator is equipment a machine which you know works on uh, some reactions that happen outside in stars then port is to carry port that's why we get the porter so when you go to a railway station or wherever you have a porter who carries your goods so portable is something that can be carried from one place to another a portable uh, air condition or whatever it is portable is to carry and you know what portable is p o t a b l e portable portable is something that can be you know had this is portable water so what is portable water something that you can drink that you, that you can consume okay so you know about export you no know? uh, something that you you know carry outside and import you bring inside your country so porter we discussed transport moving from one place to another portfolio portfolio is you know that narrow file where you no know, you that carries all papers and sheets and all that report yes that which carries some information let's go on to the third list of greek latin root words and affixes 
So rupt. Rupt means break and explode. It means either break or explode. So you have rupture. No, when no something you know is not smooth and there's a break. Bankrupt. Disrupt. No, when when you, you know break the continuation. Abrupt is also no suddenly you know you intrude in. Erupt. Burst out. Interrupt. Also, you break. You know what's going on. Break the silence or break. You know the talk or whatever. Biblio means books, like the Bible. Bible itself is a book. The book. Biblio file. Previously, we've observed. We've learned that file is you no know, uh, love for things. So, biblio file is a person who loves books. Bibliography. Graphy is writing. Biblio is book. So, bibliography is you no know, certain books that you've you know followed and you've written that you mentioned towards the end of your thesis or you no know, uh, the a particular textbook. So, this is bibliography. Bibliophile is a person who buys and sells books, who deals with books. So, bibliophage. Bibliophage is a person you know, who is almost a voracious reader. He is a, a bookworm, you can say. Bibliophage. Then, crone. Crone is time. Chrome is color. So, crone is time. And accordingly, you have chronology, study of time, you know, uh, the time sequence. Heterochronous. Heterochronous is, you know, uh, no, it covers many time periods. Anachronism. Anachronism is, that is out of a particular period in history. This does not belong to that particular period in history. Synchronize. Synchronize is, you know, make everything, you know, uh, fall in one particular time. Yes, sometimes you find that you synchronize music. Yes, you synchronize what you speak. Side, you must have heard. Side, side is killing. So, genocide. Genocide is no killing a particular race. Regicide is, reg is the king. So, regicide, killing of the king. Homicide, homo, homo sapiens. Homo sapiens, homo sapiens, no? Homicide is killing of a person. Fatter. So, you should observe here. Fatter, matter, patter. Yes. Fatricide is killing of brother. So, these all, you know, evolve from German. German, you should know that the whole of all the languages, maybe hundreds and how many ever languages that we speak today have all evolved from Indo-European family of languages. So, you find many words that are interconnecting. So, fatricide is, you no know, killing of brother, matricide, killing of mother, patricide, pater is father in German. So, patricide, killing of father, fungicide, you know, it's a kind of a pesticide. Yeah, you have insecticides, pesticide, medicine that is used to kill fungus and insects, xenocide. Xenocide is killing of alien creatures. You know, something that you find in the science fiction. Then, acer and acri. So, acer or acri means bitter, pungent. So, acrid is something that is bitter and pungent. Pungent is, uh, you know, it's not a very good uh, uh, taste. Acrimony. Acrimony is, you no know, a bitter thing that happens, a bitter feeling. Acerbate is a bad situation, something bitter that is not at all nice. When you be found that Ben is good, Mal is bad, Acer or Acre is bad. Yes, so file is no, fill or PHIL is something that you love. So, with these few Greek and Latin and French or Germanic, whatever you say, these roots and these affixes, uh, we can find out, we can understand certain new words when you see in your vocabulary. Suppose in your vocabulary exam, you have certain words and uh, if you know the meanings of these roots, you can at least guess and you can at least eliminate a few and you know, come close to the right answer, right? 
and uh, you can find uh, a long list of greek latin prefixes suffixes and root words in internet um, and another important thing is you can also you know practice vocabulary quiz in merriam webster's website merriam webster's is an important you no know, it's an american dictionary right and uh, when you just google for meanings of certain words you can find it merriam webster's app is also there where you have lot of vocabulary quizzes games and they're very very interesting in fact okay and another important uh, uh, place where you can study a lot and enjoy learning vocabularies wordpundit.com this is a website which gives extensive practice for all gmat cat and vocabulary based questions yes it also has a column where uh, it discusses an article from you know, the hindu and gives a list of the words vocabulary words used in a particular article and their meanings apart from it every vocabulary word uh, that it gives uh, it gives us certain tips to remember it in indian indian english there are certain ways you know which an indian english mind can retain certain words you should visit wordpundit.com and it will uh, be a wonderful place to visit and learn and improve your vocabulary size